2019, the petitioners published a draft of the proposed sentencing guideline, which is entitled the sentencing process. Uh, it had consulted both the Scottish ministers and the Lord Advocate on the, the draft guidelines. And in, and in the same month, June of 2019, it commenced a consultation process uh, on these guidelines. Uh, on the 14th of June 2021, the terms of the guideline were uh, agreed by the petitioners and they were therefore submitted to the court for approval. The proposal is that the guideline, if approved, should come into effect on the 22nd of September. Uh, in brief, the sentencing process guidelines set out a sequence of steps which the court should follow before sentencing a, a convicted person with a view to promoting a consistent approach and enhancing an understanding of the sentencing process. Uh, all or some of the relevant factors may be considered swiftly by the court and indeed simultaneously. Uh, they are uh, eight steps in total, assessing the seriousness of the offence, selecting the appropriate sentencing range, identifying aggravating and mitigating factors, determining the headline sentence, taking into account a plea of guilty, considering any time spent in custody, and considering any ancillary orders to be made. Thereafter, the sentence would be imposed and the reasons then given. Uh, are your lordships therefore content, uh, having considered these guidelines, that the High Court should approve them? Lord Mingus? I am, yes. Lord Woolman? Yes, I am too. In that case, the Court therefore formally approves the guidelines for uh, future use from September. That concludes the business of the Court.